Dozens of Amazon workers and supporters rallied outside the Amazon Air facility as they fight to unionize. Local 12's Courtney Wheaton explains their demands and what Amazon is saying. So here's a bit of background. Some KCVG workers at Amazon Air say they were frustrated with the latest pay increase they received amid inflation and what they're calling cost cutting firing measures. They decided they wanted to start unionizing after the successful unionization at the Amazon facility in Staten Island last April, where the Amazon Labor Union was born. You can see the signs and hear the chants. Amazon workers, former employees, and their supporters standing in freezing temperatures to have their voices heard. I'm here in solidarity with you all, but I want you to know that this union is as strong as you. And today y'all made a statement. Edward Clark says he was wrongfully fired from KCVG. What we're looking for is fair representation. Let's have somebody in there that can help them understand, okay, what is the reason why we're terminated? Is this a fair termination? How does this line up with the Amazon principles? They're demanding representation at all disciplinary meetings, $30 an hour starting pay, and 180 hours of paid time off. Amazon sent me this statement. Despite a very small gathering initiated and mostly attended by outside organizers, our employees at KCVG continue to do what they do every day, deliver for our customers. While we're always listening and looking at ways to improve, we remain proud of the competitive pay, comprehensive benefits, and engaging safe work experience we provide our team at KCVG. Workers don't agree. They're not the ones who are operating the K loaders. They're not the ones driving tugs. They're not the ones getting in the bellies of the planes in the cold weather. They uh, try to force people through their breaks to work. Um, you know, people don't get enough break time as it is. Organizers collected union authorization cards to start the process of unionizing. The labor movement has to make our struggle their struggle, and that's what it's going to take. I mean, we've got union iron workers that, that work in this facility. We've got electrical workers that are union that work here. And then we've got us. And it's, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, it's got to be union workers that are handling these packages for Amazon. And that's how it's going to be when we win. Now, originally, the rally was supposed to be outside of the facility, but security said it was a safety hazard, so supporters had to stay outside on the corner you see here. Now, Amazon says it's standard protocol to not allow non-credential people on the private property. It's something that needs to be scheduled. Back to you. Thank you, Courtney. And after enough workers sign a union authorization card, the National Labor Relations Board will hold an election. Workers would get the chance to vote on whether to unionize.